Hi, I'm Melanie Florence from Miss Melifo's Vibe Life and this is my Equinox reading for the air element. So the Equinox being the change of season, the spring to the winter to a spring in the southern hemisphere or the uh, summer to the autumn, fall in the northern hemisphere. So um, I decided I'm going to do those because I've seen other readers moving on to uh, October and October readings and there's big things, Halloween, um, All, All Hallowed Saints Day, you know, um, the Day of the Dead, a Full Moon, everything will be going to October. This is specifically for the turn of the seasons because as the seasons change, so do we. So I'm going to do a full, um, what do you call, uh, Romany spread, you know, part Prussian. And see big cheeks um, and so gypsy wise that really works for me but it gives us the past present and future of what we've been going through now I do these by element for a good reason because uh, we all have elements in our charts and so it depends on what your element is you might have a I've got an uh, air uh, Gemini moon um, so I might want this for my moon reading for my emotional state or I you know might look at the fire reading because I have six uh, fire planets, fire elements in my charts. So um, you can read this however you like. So air being for our breathing. It's been worked out that I'm missing that out of my reading. It's about our breathing. Um, and you'll notice with anxiety and tension and those sort of things, it's our breathing that we concentrate on for our air. And anxiety and tension is created in our mind and so these are about our mind and our communication and how we express ourselves and our and our thoughts so uh, and how we breathe we're going to connect those all together because the breathing element is actually really important I think I've been missing it for the last few weeks and it's the thing that clicks so for our air we're going to talk about breathing a lot but um so I actually have got a chart that is from my um, Greenwood deck so I've had the Greenwood tarot for 25 years um, you can't get it. It's by uh, Mark Ryan and Chelsea, 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 uh, Potter, and they have a, a Wildwood Tarot which goes with it. I did see that they were talking about a reprint as Greenwood, but so far I don't know. Anyway, so what we have here on their chart, which is a really functional chart, it's a um, a world tree. We really have. They've got, and that's just like a little part of the four leaf clover that's now this little heart. Okay, so we have in here for the spring equinox, which is the southern hemisphere, we're going into the shaman, and it's related, so it's related to the shaman, and the justice and the archer, and so the archer is um, the chariot, so it's manifestations, and that you've got all the skills, and you've got everything in your quiver, right? and the shaman is there to guide and, and to manifest that into your life, it's the magician. Right? And so then we have justice. Justice and what you've put in is what you're going to get out. And so it's ruled by fire and it is also involved the tens are with the shaman and the twos are outside of that. And so in the southern, in the northern hemisphere, we're turning to autumn, the fall. And so we have, it's related to cups and water and it's got the seer. So we've got the um, shaman on one side. Uh, but the seer, which is that more emotional, connected to the divine sort of energy in our lives, which is the, um, what do you call it, the empress, no, the high priestess. She's a high priestess. So, um, and then we've got also reflection, which is the hangman, looking back on your life in a different way. You're not involved with it, but looking back on your life. And uh, the wheel, all related to water. And so six and nine is also related. Nine and six are related to those elements as well. So it's an interesting chart that we have. And so we're really on the cusp. So we're on the cusp of Virgo and Libra. And so we're on the cusp of the um, seasons changing. So I uh, thought that was a good poignant time to do the reading and I'm a bit wicked on that. So we're gonna um, do an Equinox reading and this one is for air. Um, so I'm gonna kick off with putting in, where do we start? Oh, I start with the archer types. Oh, Ooh, I've done something here. Give me one second, what have I done? I flipped over cards on there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Magic cards on the table, you can't see. Ah, uh, give me a second. So, I've got the archer types deck. Oh, let me get the box. So, this I got, and it is a really interesting. It gives us different elements that are typical elements of, of the universe and uh, the world around us and what we do in the light and the dark. So, we have the king. 
So this is taking on, look, there's a rose in the middle of this. This is about our heart and the energy that that's vibrating. And you can see this is all in our, in our written tones, our golds, our yellows. Like, and so this is a nice earthy king. So we got a nice presence and being king of all that we survey, with the rules that we survey. And what else do we get? We've got the animal. So we've got both. We've got like the material and then we've got the animal instinct inside of us. I've been in the garden digging out weeds. Sorry. Uh, um, look at that nice blue eye. And so the animal, the wild, wild part of us that connects with the world in our light and dark. And you can see there's a light and dark, a light and shade in our equinox. These cards, those cards do that. All right, so next I'm gonna draw because I'm just really in love with this deck, the Heart and Soul deck. Um, and all the cards are hearts. And I've been using them a lot on, a lot on my um, hot tea for the soul group on um, Facebook because they're just really beautiful. Oof, where are we? There. Um, okay, so what have we got? You are a living work of art. You're a most sacred eternal being, a multi-dimensional field of energy with no beginning and no end. You are a floating island of consciousness swimming within the cosmic sea of love. Live the dream. Dare to be extraordinary. No holding back there, people. There, you're the king, you're the animal, and you are an eternal being. Live the extraordinary. Can't tip those up. It's just not how it works. All right. So we'll put that over there. So, uh, earth magic, because I'm like an earth magic sort of person. Like, earth magic. It says that these are by Stephen D. Farmer. All right, Stephen D. Farmer. All right, earth magic. What have we got for the air element for the solstice? Solstice equinox. Equal days. Equal day and night. Ooh, volatility. That's powerful. This is explosive. That's passionate. Volatility. All right, a little bit volatile, feeling a little bit volatile. You are unique and you are powerful. One more. One more for the earth magic, for the fire, for the air, for the equinox. Air equinox, what have we got? Air equinox. I think these are better, more important than just an October reading, to be honest. Because it is what we tap into, because we celebrate and we dance. So we've got this volatility. It's time to celebrate and it's time to dance. Ooh, turn on the music, my king. Turn on and let the wild animal out to dance. Oh, I really love She Wolf by Shakira. Like, I don't even know why I found it. Oh, I do because of the Super Bowl. Like, but that song, come back. She Wolf. Like, there's a few songs on that album. I only just discovered it this year. It's amazing how music works. All right, so, oh, one more. One more before we get to there. I'm going to draw one from. Doo -doo -doo -doo. The Goddess Dream Oracle. Okay. As she flips over the earth magic cards. Because they're dancing and they're volatile. They're energetic. There's a lot inside of you. Dance. There's a lot to move. Engage both your king and your animal. Like, the king of your world. Wow. Okay. So, one of the... What did I say? Um, Goddess Dream for the ear. Alright. There. Air. It's all about passion. So there's passion in the air in this equinox. It was for the fire reading too. TBH. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take out the cards from the Greenwood. We'll see how they go. They all jumped out of the fire reading, but it's not how I was gonna do it. I was gonna show them different. But I'm gonna load them all up on the table for you and um, let's see where we go. And they're jumping already. All right, so seven of the past. Oop. Alright, 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 alright. Seven in the past. This deck is so jumpy since it's been cleaned. Okay. Ain't up 20 years to do it. Oh, okay. Two, three, four, two more for the past, please. For the air equinox. And so that's the, um, I'm starting to put my table, let's turn it down so you can see. And so that's the past. It starts at this end, this is one to seven. All right, so leading into now, we have the air. Yeah. I'm going to 
shuffle them anymore. That's so fun. All right, so this is leading into the present. This is here to now. This is the middle of the reading. Bending her mat, that's fine. All right, to lead into that. That's earthy and earthy. That's fun. All right, you can see them all on the table. Excellent. Don't play with them. Don't play with their stuff. All right. Is there room? Is there room? Let's make room for the spark of life. Wow, leading into the future, leading into what's coming. Okay, a lot of energy. Let's go. What's coming? What's coming for the air element for their solstice? Um, air element for their solstice. What's coming? For the air element for their solstice. Sauces, come on. Air element. Air element. Okay. 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 So, uh, let's see what's going on for the light and shade of your echo. For our equal equilibrium, our equal part night, equal part day, a few days in the year. Quality it reigns supreme. Okay, so what have we got from the beginning? So what's come here? What's brought us here is dedication. All right, dedication air is of the mind, and so it's an arrow. So this is actually you know loading a quiver, being sure about what you know, loading what you've got. All right, so this is you like um, working out how to be dedicated in your mind to the things that you actually really, really want. And while you've done that, you've been dedicated to your skills, what you've needed to do to make movement inside of your practical realm. All right, so this is a dedication to your mind and, and making lists and doing the things that you need to do inside of your struggle, because that's a step before, a couple of steps. But literally, this is like, you know, dedication to your mind. And then we've got, you know, your... Um, your skills and what you've learned. And what you've learned inside of that is this real love. So there's been this love that's sitting in here and it's this nurturing, it's nurturing of this energy. So there's energy inside of her and there's energy inside of him and there's this nurturing spot in between them. And there, there's a third energy that's created and that's love, that's the lover. And what's the lover in you? So this is a balance of our masculine and a feminine and them being empowered by the love inside of them. Like that's drawing them together. So this third energy is actually the lovers. Like, it's very Gemini, but we split it up like a twin. All right, and so then we have, you've also embraced the green man. This is the primal power and strength inside of you on the material plane. Like, and what we have to gain from that, more volatile, more strong. All right, we have this earthy um, place that you've been able to learn, like, um, what your strength is, and imply that. And next to the green man, so it's the green man next to the green man in these cards, they repeat. Okay, so we have then exploitation. So this is of the physical realm being of stones. So you can see this, that the bee is creating its honey, it's creating its hive. They create honey for us more than for them, but their output and their input. So this is about manifestation on the physical plane, also with your skills. And this is and the green man and the dedication that you've taken to manifest on the physical plane. So this is about, the card says exploitation, and forever I had to go, what does exploitation mean? Well, exploitation is neutral. Uh, it's output. But if you are being exploited, it's not so good. If you are exploiting yourself and making your own honey, that's a fantastic place to be in. So the world is changing, and you are making your path to your divine. You can see... But there's a little like tree and there's a little maybe you can't but in the there's a trunk there's a there's a door there's a door that we go to there's the door that we go to when we retreat we go on our path which twists this way it turns us back on ourselves to relearn it we're always everybody's path to the divine and the seasons change and so leading up into the now there's been an injustice like and when we know this the mind has had to change we've had to balance our scales a different way there's things that were unseen that are being seen. The bow of justice is broken. The scales are tipped. 
you know, this is the information that we have and we have a choice to work with that. Like there were things that we might not know and we have to deal as we walk through our path and then we exploit ourselves. Right? All right, so we move into the now, right, which we have the moon, which if ever there's like, you know, the moon is that black and white, it, but I don't see it as black and white. I see this incandescent dream, this fertile place, this watery place where we can grasp those little in, in existeric, intricate bits of ourselves and think about what those and gestate on what those are and gestate on, you know, what we fertile, what's fertile and what we can work with. All right, so the next card we have in what's coming is judgment. Uh, so this could be judgment. This could be where the here and comes in your life. This is where they, you know, where some sort of judgment is being made. But the path, this is the path, it's like sometimes the judgment and what other people have got to say to you or what the powers that be, what they can do, literally makes you feel like they, they're a bear. That judgment is the bear. It's like people, we're frightened of that. What we need to do when we feel these circumstances is keep our eye on the past. Don't worry about the big feelings of, around us. Just keep your eye dedicated, dedicated on the path. And you'll find, you'll find if you're dedicated to your path, congruent, that the right things come along. And you're dreaming about that. Right now, what do you do outside of this injustice? The world has changed. And so, we then have the blasted oak. Lightning energy. This is our tower. This is where we crumble down and we break down just to what we need, what our foundations are, what our strengths are. So when we lose everything else, we don't lose, we don't fall back to nothing. We fall back to all we know and who we are. This is cutting off, this is cutting off things that are no good and it happens quick and it's swift. And that's time for change and you know it. And it's about protection. It's about looking after your own. It's about those four walls. It's about making sure that physically you're safe and you've got everything that is um, available to you to look after your physical realm. And that's right in the middle. We're looking after ourselves right here, right now. All right. <coughs> right here, right now. Then we're going to dance. We're dancing in the rivers of life. Look at it. Dancing in the rivers of life. Yeah, dancing in the rivers of life. Anyway, so this is the five of cups. This is of the senses. This is the emotional ecstasy that we can feel from everything around us as sun changes. Feel the energy flow, feel the love flow, feel it, vibrate it, dance with it. You got dance, you got dance twice. That's dance, that's dance. This is dancing, this is ecstasy. All right, this is pushing yourself to feel, feel the abundance. And it's okay while well, you do, and it's really funny that these are going together. So we've got the hermit sitting here, which it doesn't say dance, but this is still part of this world tree. They're sitting next to each other, even. Uh, this is still part of this world tree. That's your world tree. We've just ended the hermit season being uh, Virgo. But this is on the cusp of this still. And so this is that journey inside of yourself. So this is not saying just enjoy, really enjoy your journey. Really emotionally invest and enjoy in your moment, in your journey. Internally, you don't have to share it with the world. This is not sharing Facebook. This is like, it's not Facebook. This is like, it's not social media. It's like, you need to take that in and take it in and enjoy Enjoy what you've got going on, and it's alright to be private about that. And the Queen of Stones really commits to that, like really earthly mother, like protection, protection. But you know, this is sensual. This is intoxicating, not intoxicating. This is like sensual and earthy, and you know, very in the moment. But again, that hermit leads into this sort of circumstance that you're feeling you you know, contend on your earthly plane in there. All right, so we have. Beginning of the next, what's to come? So, we have the spark of life. So, we've done all this. We're going to blast things away. We've made change. We know who we are. We love what we're going on. We're exploiting ourselves. We know the world changing. Even if it has me fair, and there's a place to dream. And then you're going to break away from the judgments of others and protect your own and dance in your own tree as yourself in the physical plane. Because there's a spark of life. All right. This is a new beginning. This is a new beginning of your faith and your spirit and your passion. This is a chance to like set things on fire, not like physically, metaphorically, right? So like literally, this is taking yourself out and putting yourself out. Passionate new beginning. Pow, that's a power card. All right, and then you're going to take instructions. So this is either you taking instructions 
or you giving instruction. So you are either the teacher or you are the student and that's generally the cycle and that's why it's the one and the zero. You either you know, begin new beginning, you're the innocent or you're the one, you're the person who's teaching. So this card, this end card of arrows is like telling us it's, it's time to embrace that, what you, your knowledge and, and step up and either start a new course and do something new or um, turn, to, turn to teach turn to teach what you've got All right, because the sun is shining on this death that has just happened and death is a rebirth we pick the bones from the winter and we start again all right so the sun is shining on a new change the world trees the world the wheel this is one of the day cards of the actual season of this cusp moment the wheel is changing and so are you and you're allowed to all right so we've got that all in one row in there we've got these like it's a shining death to rebirth bomb what you hold on to and what you let go is really important at this point of the wheel okay <coughs> <coughs> two more cards to go <coughs> <coughs> sorry it's gonna rain um i can tell it i can tell you in my, my waters all right, so to go with this spark of fresh life, we're going to breathe it. We're going to talk it. We're going to breathe it in and breathe it out. And we're going to talk it. We're going to talk our, our new beginning. We're going to talk our congruent self because we've done all this stuff. We've built up to here to be who we are. <coughs> so this death, we still get to be all these things. Even though there's been injustice, you're dreaming more. Things change. That's fantastic. Tell everybody, tell everybody, breathe it in, breathe it out, breathe the fresh of life. Two new beginnings inside this. And this, this little ferret energy. <coughs> Time for medication. Asthma. Oh, so, this is a little stoat. A stoat. So this is a big ferret. Like, this is ferreting around here and there. What's to come? What's the new intuition? This is intuition. This is little messages coming to you. You'll know. You'll see the coincidences, co and incidences in your life. Like, this is the little ferret that's going, look into this, look into that. Go and get things. Go and get the things you want. This is on a faith level. It's a fire element. This is like fire in the end of your reading. We're fired up with new beginnings. <coughs> So, um, that's interesting. Air science, air element. We're going to dance with passion. There's so much passion inside of this. Like, this has got a passionate new beginnings. This has got a passionate breath of air. Things have changed. You're protecting your own. Great. Like, and so the sun is going to shine on this death and rebirth change while the wheel changes. And you know it is. Like, so breathe it in and breathe it out and listen to what the universe tells you, source. Like, listen to it all. It'll come to you. So, my air element. This is your equinox, equinox readings. Like, love it. These are great. I would love you to hit like and subscribe. I would love you to put this in groups that you might, um, like, think that are going. Share it with your mates. I am um, out for now, I guess. I'll catch you later. Bye.